This movie is about Hassan Ali and his family. Hassan is a pioneer vet of a systems farmer of great technical expertise and excellence. He started some 11 years ago using Vetiva with the help of Menschen F. Menschen, a German based NGO in the Metu area of Alubabur province. Here you see Hassan's farm laid out with Vetiva hedgerows on a quite steep slope. This is what it looked like before he put Vetiva hedgerows in and as you can see it's heavily grazed going all the way down to a drainage line at the bottom of the hill. He cuts his vetiver as you can see on the right and uses that for mulch, thatch and other uses. Here he has some beautiful hedgerows with an area between the hedgerows where he's going to grow forage for his livestock. He is very proud of what he's done and many farmers have followed his example. Here's another example of a very fine hedgerow on an average contour trapping silt and ensuring that runoff doesn't go down the hill but goes into the ground to recharge the groundwater. This is just a reminder to show you how the vetiver system works. In this cross section <coughs> of the two hedgerows you can see the original organic matter which is a dark line just below the surface. Behind each, each hedge sediment has built up and spread along the hedgerow creating this natural terrace. The water runoff also collects behind this hedgerow and then follows the root system and infiltrates down into the groundwater. This is the basic of the Vesuva system. Hassan has made great strides in improving his crop yields using the Vesuva system. On average he has increased yields by about 30 percent. Here you can see uh, a hedgerow that he has actually dug up part of it to sell to other farmers. He gets about 10 cents a clump. Another close-up of this cut hedgerow. Notice how dense the hedgerow is. These clumps just stop everything from growing through it. He says that at the bottom of his farm there is no water running off at all. Here's another view of another hedgerow. Nicely cut and grazed here you can see the roots going deep down in the soil even where he may have lost a bit of uh, clump because he's cut it it uh, uh, doesn't affect uh, erosion here you can see a bit of a hedgerow in his coffee he says the coffee flushes longer in the dry season and he's getting yield increases of 20 to 30 percent this is pretty good and his farmers neighboring farmers are emulating the process. You can see here uh, that of a, under the shade of the coffee it doesn't grow quite so well but it's still not bad. Here he's growing bananas. He takes advantage of the uh, impact of vetiva on the nematodes of the uh, that affect the bananas in getting better yields. Uh, here he has helped his brother establish vetiver on his brother's farm and you can see these lovely vetiver hedgerows on quite steep slopes maybe 15 20 percent stopping erosion and conserving uh, runoff you can see over on the far side of the valley more vetiver hedgerows and more here he reckons he's helped over 70 farmers establish new vetiva hedgerows on their farms and the impact is very significant on crop yield and groundwater recharge. This farmer certainly knows what he does and other farmers like to copy him. Copy him. The soils here are 
red volcanic soils with a basalt base. Well treated, they produce very good crop yields. I'm really impressed with what we saw here and so are the farmers and the staff of Slough and others who are helping. ሄሺ <laughs> Here is Hassan Ali in front of his house. Uh, he'd uh, thatched this with Bedava uh, only three months ago. You can see it's quite new. And he's very happy with the thatch. Uh, some of his older houses he thatched up to 11 years ago, and the Bedava has stayed in very good condition. The more thatch you put on, the longer it'll last. And it's far, far better than the local 